As COVID-19 infection rates continue to rise in the UK, pressures mounting on the government to take further measures to try and stop its spread, something that's not being ruled out by officials. We agreed that we should keep the, the data from now on under constant uh, review, keep uh, following it uh, hour by hour. And unfortunately, I must say to people, we, we will have to reserve the, the possibility of taking further action to, to protect the public. Uh, and to protect public health, to protect uh, our NHS. And we won't hesitate to, to take that action. In terms of cases, the UK is the worst affected country in Europe right now. But Omicron's spread is affecting much of the continent. There is now consistent evidence that Omicron is spreading significantly faster than the Delta variant. And it's more likely that people who have been vaccinated or have recovered from COVID-19 could be infected or reinfected. With Christmas just days away, the WHO has urged people to avoid big get-togethers. But in the UK, officials could be reluctant to dictate any changes. Last year, a late U-turn saw many people unable to spend the day with their families. And any similar move could be politically damaging for a prime minister who's been mired in controversy lately. London's mayor has already said the city is cancelling its New Year's Eve celebrations for yet another year. But as the disruption continues, so too does the economic damage for businesses. The hospitality industry in the UK is calling for clearer guidance from the government as trade dries up at one of the busiest times of year. Firstly, we're announcing a billion pounds in financial grant support, which means eligible hospitality companies will be able to claim a cash grant worth up to £6,000. But with Omicron spreading at pace, all the signs indicate that even tougher measures could be on the way. Louis Jabarkil, CGTN, London.